welcome back guys hope you are doing great it's vetri here hope you all doing great and i wish you all a happy new year right so in this video we're gonna learn how to create this awesome toggle switch just by using html css alone nothing else plain html and css you can access the source code by clicking the link in the description below and it's completely free and you can access our entire web ui elements whatever the available in the github you can use it for free all right so let's get started okay then so first of first what i'm going to do is in this i'm going to create a new folder okay so and then i'm going to keep it as the toggle switch button and i'm going to create a new folder in it called css and i'm going to create a new file in it called index.html right so in this i'm just going to bring and i'm going to change this document title as the toggle switch button and then i'm going to link my file i am going to create that file over here styles.css and i'm going to bring that styles.css over here so let's bring a uh, link dot slash css styles.css that's it and let me make sure a h1 tag which is going to be toggle switch switch button all right so save the changes and let me run this in the let me open this in the live server there we go so we have ourselves our code is up and running now right so now all we have to do is to start writing the coding so first of first for this uh where it is yeah let me bring it over here okay so let's go ahead and, and start writing the uh wireframe the main wireframe so right after here i'm gonna bring a label a label which in case uh i don't need anything i'm just going to keep it this as the switch class switch and i'm gonna bring an input which in case it's going to be the checkbox then i'm going to bring a span tag which is going to have a class name called slider right this is it this is the main wireframe that we are going to keep all right this is how it looks right now okay let's get into the styles.css so for the styles.css i'm going to target the every single element first so let's remove the margin margin zero padding zero and box sizing i'm going to change this into the border box perfect all right so right after here so we know that um so you can see here box sizing so this specifies the behavior of the width and height of the properties of then every single element so we need to uh, structure the height and width properly right that's the reason we are changing the entire elements layout into a border box layout okay so now what i'm going to do is so i'm going to bring the uh, body tag so basically so uh body open it then i'm gonna fix the width as 100 vw height as 100 vh which in case view the vw and vh in the sense it's going to be a viewport width and viewport height basically we are targeting the entire screen width and height right then i'm gonna make the display as a flex and then uh flex direction which is going to be the column and uh, justify content everything in the center and then align items everything in the center right this is it now everything will be in the center location then i'm going to increase the gap between them which is going to be the 52 pixels itself just like that perfect and now i'm going to target this switch first let me copy it then i'm going to target that switch dot switch right so for the switch what i'm going to do is i need to have some uh, css variables so uh, at the top right after here i'm going to create the root variables okay so first you need to start the root variables by defining with double hyphen then i'm going to define the width of the switch height of the switch and then size of the icon and uh, i need to uh, specify the inline padding for the switch so offset we need to set all these things as a root variables maybe in the future if you wish to change those size you don't have to change entirely inside the code just change the variables and then entirely the code will be updated wherever that variables being used right so i'm going to target the width 
of switch something like this then the width of the switch is going to be 3.5 em okay so these are the units that we are going to use and then height of switch which is going to be 2 em oops not 3 2 then i'm going to specify the icon so basically which is going to be the size of icon which is going to be 1.4 eminent points then i'm going to target the uh, the basically this variable which we created for the size of the icon which is basically it's going to be the sun and the moon that's it then we are going to create uh, inline padding for the switch this is the variable for inline padding for the switch all right so let's define that slider offset which is going to be 0 0.3 eminent points save it now we have all those variables and then i can directly use them inside in it okay so first we have to um what to say uh we need to hide this default um yeah default layer look of the switch checkbox right we need to hide that input so in order to hide that in uh we need into in input all we have to say is it's going to be width zero height zero and opacity zero which means if you simply give this display none what happens you can't see anything over here but we need the checkbox but it needs to work in exactly the same way right so i need to hide the width and height that's it so i'm just going to hide the width and height then width it's going to be zero height it's going to be zero and the opacity it's going to be zero so basically we are targeting the input which is inside the switch right this is it then all we have to do is to write these styles for the switch main switch so dot switch which is going to be we need to make sure that it displays the entire block right then uh, we need to make sure the position which is going to be as a relative position then we need to um, keep the width width basically the width is going to be the switch width the variable which we created for that right so you need to use the var function in order to use the root variables which you created inside the css so target that then height which is going to be variable height of the switch right perfect save these changes now you can't see the checkbox over there right now let's target the slider right so we finished the styles for switch and switch input let's target the slider so let's go here and copy this let's get back over here and then dot slider so basically for the slider which is going to be the position which is going to be the absolute position and then content which is going to be empty so whenever you're keeping an uh, something as an absolute position make sure that parent because slider is inside the switch which means switch is the parent for your slider so the switch should be the position as a relative position then only the slider will always refers to the switch otherwise it will by default start refers to its entire parent element which is the body tag it's going to refer your body tag so make sure use the position relative and absolute in a proper way right then i'm going to define the height which is going to be the variable height as the um we need to supply the size of the icon over here so height which is always it's going to be the size of icon then i'm going to supply the 1.4 eminent points right then i'm going to supply the width which is going to be the size of icon 1.4 eminent points which means the height and width of the slider should be exactly the same of the icon size okay then only it will smoothly uh, transform from left to right then the border radius which is going to be 20 pixels then from left i'm gonna use the variable so i'm gonna use the slider offset and i'm gonna define the eminent points at 0 0.3 okay then i'm gonna use from the top i'm gonna bring it 50 percentage then transform translate y which is going to be minus 50 percentage and then background which is going to be a linear gradient 
and I'm going to make sure that is taking the 40 degree then hash double F double zero eight zero then hash double F eight C C C double zero this is the color code then it should be this uh, I'm going to use the 70 percentage of that color code just like that then the transition needs to be 0 0.4 seconds right this is how the button should looks like see just like that okay then all I have to do is to target the input mm -mm -mm. okay so yeah so I think this is the this is the button so we have to write the slider for so the styles for the switch okay so I think uh, the styles whatever we returned this is going to be the pseudo elements for the switch now I need to target the slider the background layer so dot slider right so the slider it's also going to be in the absolute position only so position needs to be absolute and then cursor needs to be the pointer from the top it's need to be zero left zero and right zero and bottom as well as zero right then i'm going to bring the background which is going to be hash f4 f4 f5 something like this right then i'm going to make sure the transitions which is going to be 0 0.4 seconds itself then i'm going to use the border radius which in case it's going to be the 30 pixels okay now you should be able to see over here see uh, a small slider background right so first you need to create this slider background then you need to target that okay fine now we have the both switch and everything so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to target the input so this if the input is checked if the input is checked then plus dot slider if the input is checked basically what we are going to do we are going to change the background color so background color which is going to be hash um, 303136 something like this okay so now whenever this input is being checked you can see the slider background color it's changing okay then if the input if the input is checked then dot slider oops dot slider colon before we need to target that that uh, pseudo element then i'm going to calculate that left so basically i can't simply move from left to right instantly as a hundred percentage so i need to calculate the variable of your the size of the you need to calculate this icon size then you need to calculate the inner padding as well as so you can move it smoothly so i'm going to use the calc function in order to do the calculations out of hundred percentage i'm going to reduce the variable of your icon size then i'm going to uh, add the inner padding then i'm going to reduce i'm going to calculate both of them from that using that calculation we're going to reduce the uh, from that uh, 100 percentage simply we're going to add the size of the icon and the uh, slider offset the inner padding add them and reduce it with the 100 percentage that's it so i'm going to get the variable which is going to be a uh, size of icon comma 1.4 eminent points because that is what we defined for the uh, the um, the size for your icon then i'm going to use the variable then i'm going to use the slider offsets which is going to be 0 0.3 eminent points right so basically which is going to be like this see which moves smoothly just like that all right so now what i have to do is to whenever it is being um, checked so i need to change the background color of that icon as well as so basically the background color which is going to be hash three zero three one three six like that then i'm gonna bring the box shadow box shadow so we need to change the value of the second inset in the box shadow to change the angle and the direction of the moon right so basically what we are going to do is we're going to use the box shadow let me give a command line over here so basically we are changing changing the value of the second inset in box shadow 
to change the angle and direction of the moon so that is what we are trying to do over here so let me enable the word wrap so you can see it completely okay so then box shadow which in case it's going to be inset minus three pixel because we are targeting the second inset not the first one so minus three pixel minus two pixel five pixel and minus two pixels which in case it's going to use the color code as hash 898-3F7, right? Then use the comma. Then I'm going to use the inset, minus 10 pixels, minus 4 pixels, 0, 0. Then I'm going to use a color code hash A3, A3, uh, DA, FB. That's the color code that we are going to use. So save these changes. This is how it looks. Now, when it is switched, it looks like this. When it is in dark mode, it is going to look like this. Okay. So now we have ourselves a smoothly uh, transitioned toggle switch button. Right. So I hope you enjoyed this session. If you have any questions or anything, just leave the questions in the, in the comment section. I'm happy to help you out. And you can access the source code by clicking the GitHub link in the description and you can use it for free.